So ultimately what the Film Commission does in, this, in any state is it is the one-stop shop for production companies, both in the state as well as outside of the state, who would like to do production in the state of Minnesota. So we're really a service organization. We're a nonprofit organization um, that is funded by the state, but we are not a state agency. Um, we're, so we also raise money uh, to, uh, through, as a nonprofit. Um, and what we do is, is core production services support. So we help individuals who are looking for locations uh, to shoot their film or their, fil their, their commercial or their television uh, series um, or program. And so we also assist with uh, the incentive program. We have an incentive program called the Snowbait. And the Snowbait uh, and incentive programs are really the only way major motion pictures come to the state anymore. You know, many of you may be aware or have worked uh, as actors or actresses in, in uh, programs that have shot in the state. The 90s was a heyday for Minnesota production. Uh, it was a different time on a number of different levels, um, but one thing that it did at that time was is about your production crew and your locations and the cost of production. That all changed when incentives came into the picture. Now Hollywood, or production in general, shoot where they can get the best incentive. Now that doesn't change production in the state of Minnesota. Production will always be done in the state of Minnesota, and so our organization as well assists individuals who want to know more about you know, producing and directing in Minnesota or connecting with production. I'm going to show you our website um, and really kind of take you through each of the aspects of Minnesota Film and TV. Um, and if at any point you have questions, um, feel free to raise your hand. Um, I will also show you a couple of videos that we have. There we are. Oh, there we go. So Minnesota Film and TV, we, uh, you know, our tagline is land of 10,000 locations and 25% cash back. Um, these are a variety of location photos that sort of cycle through. One of the things that we're really essentially doing is we're helping sell the state of Minnesota to people who want to come here. You know, most of the time, and having worked again in, in uh, cable television, most of the time people, as many of you may or may not know, think the, we're the flyover state. I mean, and when it comes to the highest level of production in the United States and in the, globally, you have your hubs. You have New York and you have LA, and you have other hubs around the United States as well. But traditionally, we think of production being done in New York and LA. That landscape has changed, and as I indicated, this was a shot I took recently with deer running across the road uh, um, in the metro. This is here, a shot of uh, uh, the High Bridge in St. Paul and then Lake Country as well. So this is our website. It showcases the locations that we have to offer. Um, if you go here on the drop-down menu, this shows you sort of the content that we have available for local producers as well as um, producers that are looking at us from out of state. So we have filming in Minnesota. We have incentives. We have a production directory. We have locations, hotline, about Minnesota film and TV, news and events. I'll just briefly jump through some of these. Filming in Minnesota, this is one of the things that we get a lot of questions asked at our facility, is how do I get a permit? Now, I don't know how many of you in any of your productions so far have had to work at trying to get permits for where you're shooting. Most of you probably have the freedom to go into a location, the racetrack, or et cetera, and say, hey, this is what I'm doing, and they give you permission, and then you go in. And that's traditionally how it can be done on a, on a community access level. You know, There really is an engagement and help for that. But if you ever take your camera to the sidewalks of Minneapolis, the, the, the thing that is probably best to do is contact the city of Minneapolis to let them know that you're going to be shooting on a sidewalk. Because if you're stopped by a police officer, not because you're you know, obstructing justice or you're doing anything bad, but they're going to ask, do you have a permit to shoot here? And as a community access public channel, one might not think, oh, I'm just doing a public access channel. But what we're endeavoring to do as an organization is to remind people that there are actually a set of um, processes that work to make production as professional as possible. And usually it all comes back down to liability. So liability is the issue because if you're shooting on public property and someone falls and gets hurt while you're shooting, you know, there are a lot of legal things that you need to think about as well as production. There is the art of it and the joy of it and the community engagement of it and just the freedom to do it, but as a producer, as many, you know, as the producers club here, it's it's understanding what actually the the um, professional steps are to make sure that your production is done properly.